Hello, brothers and sisters. I just want to get in here and talk a little bit about patience. And one, it's importance. And two, maybe just a little bit of a testimony and just examples of patience throughout the Bible. I think patience is something that most of us struggle with pretty, um, pretty hard. I know for me, at least, patience is a big thing. It's probably like right there with pride and pride can get me sometimes. But patience within itself is trusting God, trusting in his plan, his will for you. When you worry about things, when you are impatient, you're showing unloyalty. You're showing disobedience to him. So a little bit of a testimony with patience. So I was filling out a scholarship application and it required a recommendation from somebody that worked within my church. So I asked my pastor and he said yes, but um, he wanted information and then I responded and then he didn't respond. So I got worried. I got impatient and I asked a youth leader if he could do it. And he said, yeah, it took him two days. And then it was, I think, four or five more days until Sunday. Then uh, I was talking to the youth leader that filled out the recommendation. And my pastor came and said, hey, would you like that um, recommendation now? And as you can imagine, it was kind of awkward. It was very awkward, actually. And he told me that he had been working on it for the past week since I asked him and he had done um, seven pages already full of you know just crazy dialect and a bunch of just really uh, uh, good things about me I can't really word that any better but I had already submitted the application from the student leader so because I was impatient I missed out on getting that recommendation from my pastor and it's a blessing to have the recommendation from my youth leader but I showed disloyalty and now there's mistrust. I said one thing and then I was impatient and then I did the other. And just some biblical uh, representation examples. Jacob waited seven years just to be married with Rachel. That within itself, like to me, that's crazy. Seven years takes a lot of mental, um, it's a mental challenge for sure. I'm sure it was for Jacob. And then there's Noah who spent around 120 years building the ark and that's just insane think of all the people that ridiculed him and mocked him because he was building an ark building building a giant boat just out in the middle of wherever he was and then the 40 days uh waiting on the ark just waiting on god and being patient and faithful to him let me just put it like this so you need to have faith that'd be our boat our Noah's boat so when waves come and high waters come and it feels like everything is about to get wiped out in our lives we have God to rely on we have patience we can wait on him we can have faith in him we must have faith in him because eventually a bird will come and show us a little piece of dry land that's nearby god will always provide you a way out of any situation that you're in every situation that you're in this is definitely something that we need to pray on as a community and as children of god that we will all just be more patient with one another especially more patient with just things that god has given us and that God will give us. We need to wait on him and be faithful. That's all. God bless.